Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number six from the Pure Mathematics P1 June 2023 International A Level Edexcel exam. This question here is um, a few different things together. First of all, simple expansion of this um, expression, this squared bracket, and, and we can do this the long way, we can do this the short way. I much prefer students to use the short way. Basically, the pattern is if you have uh, two, like a binomial thing where you want to expand it square it you square the first term and then you multiply the two terms together and double the answer so a times b times two and then you square the last term and if there's a minus sign between them you put a minus sign over here but this will always be positive so we can do the same we can apply that pattern to this so we take the r we square it we've got a minus sign put minus two times the product of these two terms so two times r times one over r and then always the last term will be positive and you square that one over r so if you simplify that that's going to be r squared minus now the two the r's cancel out so you've got minus two plus one over r squared and there's the answer simple as that okay there's six a done now for six b it says express this um fraction in the form p plus q root 2 so here we have something in third form and the denominator has an irrational number and we have to rationalize the denominator now the reason why it has this statement here solutions relying on calculator technology are not acceptable is because we could stick this in our calculator and get the answer out and just write it down but you'll lose the two marks if you did that even if you wrote the right answer down so you have to show the step how you rationalize the denominator and for something where you have this, um, you know, combination of a, a normal number and a third number in third form, what you do is you multiply that by its conjugate, which is the same numbers with the opposite sign between them, and that will basically get rid of the third in that denominator. But what you do to the denominator, you must also do to the numerator, otherwise the fraction will not be the same. So I multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 3 minus 2 root 2. The, the numerator becomes 3 minus 2 root 2. And the denominator, you have 3 times 3, which is 9. Now, the middle term will just disappear because you'll have minus 6 root 2 and plus 6 root 2. That was the whole point of doing this, to get rid of the third. But then the last term is going to be negative, plus times minus. And then you're going to have 2 times 2 is 4, and root 2 times root 2 is 2. So you end up with 3 minus 2 root 2 over 9 minus 8, which is 1. So that just gives you 3 minus 2 root 2. Okay? It doesn't always end up that... This becomes the same thing with the different sign. It just happened in this case because the denominator became 1, basically. Anyway, so there we have the answer to part B. Pretty simple as well. Now for part C. And now part C tells us to use the results in part A, which is I've written here, and part B, which I've written there, um, or otherwise to show that this expression equals 2. Now, if I look at this, I can compare this to... To that all right if you compare them i mean that's why it says use the results of part a and part b so if you look at this this kind of looks like what's inside the bracket without being squared okay so what i could do is i could say okay let me take i know that r plus one over r squared is equal to r squared plus one over r squared minus two i just wrote it in that way so if i think of r as the square root of 3 plus 2 root 2, then I can say that if I use the same kind of pattern, I can say that this would be 3 plus 2 root 2, okay, um, minus, okay, sorry, this is minus here, what I'm doing, just give me a, sorry, that's a minus here, it's r minus, minus 1 over 3 plus 2 root 2, all of the square root, when I square that, what I should get is basically the same thing here but squared, which would be 3 plus 2 root 2. That's the same thing as this but squared. Okay. Plus 1 over the square of this, okay, which is going to be 3 plus 2 root 2. And then I'll have a minus 2 at the end. Okay. So that's equal to, to this. And that's going to be equal to if I use the result from part B, okay, this part here, I know that this is the same as 3 minus root 2, 2 root 2, sorry. So I've got 3 plus 2 root 2, and this is plus 3 minus 2 root 2, 
at the end I've got two so you notice as I said here that this and this are the same so I can replace it with three minus root two root two okay and now I can um, continue this is three plus three which is six these these cancel out six minus two, which is four so I can say therefore that all of this is equal to four so the square root of three plus two root two minus one over the square root of three plus two root two two root two all squared is equal to four so therefore we have to prove that this is equal to two which is the square root of what i've got here so we can just say that therefore three um, the square root of three plus two root two minus one over the square root of three plus two root two is going to be equal to two okay taking the square root of both sides and that's proved what we had to prove okay so there's the answer to that question part six six part c all right and that concludes this question a bit of algebraic manipulation there um other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here other questions from um i guess this is from simplification of sir's algebraic manipulation so i guess um in certain certain indices i guess i'll put it under that topic you can um you can see the link to other questions from p1 related to that topic you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch a video here that will tell you how to use my channel efficiently thank you for watching and see you soon